Hey guys, I'm Kyle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use KineMaster app full tutorial. So let's get started. So here we are in KineMaster and we're currently here in the home page. So when you press here in home, you would be able to see the templates right here in the assets available for you to use here in KineMaster. And I think this is a really good feature right here if you don't want to do much work in editing your uh, in your videos and still have a great output right here. So this is a really good feature. And then the next one is the mix section right here. And this is where you'd be able to see templates right here in a real type of style. So you would be able to scroll down and see different uh, reels and see if you have anything that you would like to use right here. And you can also tap on the heart react button if you'd like it. And you can also view the comments and type your own comments right here if you would want to comment. And from here, what you want to do next is you can also tap on the mix button and then you would be able to use this template and edit that. But we're going to do that later on in this video. And the next thing is we're going to tap on the create button at the bottom center. So you can see here, you would be able to see your past projects right here that you have done in KineMaster. So this is where you're gonna see it. And then you can also tap on the create new, and then you can create a new project right here. You can choose the aspect ratio, and you can also tap on advanced, and then you'd be able to see more options. And now you, you know that. The next thing is the inbox. So from here, this is where you'd be able to receive notifications from KineMaster. The next thing is the me button. So this is, is your profile right here. And you can see the mixes that you have uploaded, the Kini Cloud, the likes right here, and so on. So this is where you'd be able to see the, uh, the templates that you have watched here in uh, the mix section. And you, when you have like that certain uh, template, for example, this one, I'm going to like this. And then you would be able to see it right here. All right, so now that we're done explaining here in our dashboard, now let's proceed into editing something here in KineMaster. So in this tutorial, we'll just be using a video template as an example so that we would already have everything right there and I'll just have to explain it to you. So let's just choose a template right here. So for example, I wanna choose this template right here. And from here, as you can see, uh, I can now press on the mix button right here at the bottom right and now I can edit this template. So tap on mix and it's now going to download the template and it's now going to prepare us into the video editor. So now here we are in the editor page. So from here, what we can do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how you can play the video right here is by tapping here. So tap on that or hold that in order for you to enter the full screen just like this one right here so that you would be able to see the video. Or just like here, you can also see the video right here while the timeline is ongoing and so on. So if you think that this is too small, then you can tap on this button right here to make it larger or just uh, this one if you want to see your timeline better. So now let's say that you want to replace the footage of your templates right here. So you can just tap on the footage and tap on replace right here. And then you can replace it with any footage that you would like right here. You can also choose from your gallery and whatsoever. But in my case, I'll just choose this one maybe from Pixabay. And this is just from KineMaster Assets that I'm going to use for this example. All right. So now, as you can see, it's now loading and downloading. And uh, let's just wait for it to be imported into our timeline. And as you can see, it's unsupported. So uh, let's just uh, replace it with another one. So let's go with pixels right here and maybe choose uh, this one right there. And now let's wait for it to be imported. And there it is. It is now imported. So that is how you uh, import a footage. Or if you want to cut uh, footage, like maybe at this point in time, then you can just uh, take note of the red line right here. and tap here on the trim or split right there and then trim uh, you can go for split and then it would now be split into two clips right here so that is how you do it and then the next thing is let's say that you would want to add text so to do that is that you would need to go for uh, you want to go for layer right here and tap on text right there and then you could just add your text right here whatever you'd want and tap on the check right there and then as you can see there is no text but uh, since we we have a 
uh, video template right here then we also already have the text right here that we need to edit so let's say you want to go tap on this text and then from here you would be able to change the font you can also trim or split you can add animation overall animation out animation and so on right here these are basically your options so we're not going to go through it one by one because it's going to take too much time but that is basically how you can do it with the text and the next thing is if you want to add audio you want to tap the audio button right here tap on that and then you can tap on allow and then you'd be able to import the audio from here and then uh, the next thing is you can tap on the footage again and then from here you have your filters your replace mixer and so on right here you have your uh, effects that you can import into this clip right here or you can do so you have a lot you even have the voice changer noise reduction and so on right here so you just have to uh select different types of elements right here in order for you to reveal the options on what you can do with them all right so now let's say that you are done editing your output right here let's say you want to export it now then what you can do is that you want to tap here on the share button at the top right of your screen tap on that and then from here you can see the format the resolution right here so i'm just gonna go with uh, 1080p with a frame rate right here you can choose the frame rate and let's say 30 and then you can also go for the bit rate right here so i'm just gonna choose the middle right here so that it would not take too much space but it also has good quality and from here you can type uh, you can tap on the save as video and now it will now be saved but the only drawback if you don't have the premium version is that it will have the watermark of KineMaster so if you want to remove the watermark you need to get the premium version so yeah that is basically it on how you can use the KineMaster app with its full tutorial so I hope this video helped you out thank you for watching